Hello, today I will show you the example of Trend Viewer created by Vision Studio. You can see the download link of this source code uh, under the video description. After download the code and open with Vision Studio, you can see the ActiveX control, COPC32, the chart control, and the timer. I use the COPC32 to get value from the OPC server to get the value of OPC text. In, uh, in another video, you can find how to use the COPC32. I have specified the OPC server, update rate, and OPC tag. For the chart control, in this example, I use two, I use two series. If you would like to add more series, click on the chart control and select the property. In the series property, click on the button nearby collection to add the new member of the series and change its name for example, as V3, and then click OK. In a collection, you can specify the chart type. In this example, I use a strip, strip chart, strip line. Sorry, I use the step line for this example. You can use another, for example, as line or spy as well. In the code view, it is uh, two set of the parameter. This for the series one, and this for the second. If you have, uh, if you have more OPC text, you need to create more set of the parameter. For example, I just duplicate this and change its name. In this example, the sample of uh, each set has the amount of sample is uh, has the amount of sample are uh, forty. If you need more samples, you can change from thirty nine to the amount of you like. For example, if you need uh, each series for sixty sample, just change thirty nine to 59, for example. Then duplicate this line of code to the new parameter. This is the name of the series, V1, V2, and V3. If you cannot remember, go to the property of the chart control in the series collection. The new series for the new parameter. Now, ready to start. I forgot to duplicate this line of code.
this is the index number of the OPC tag that you would like to connect to. If you don't know, get back to design view and go to property of the COPC32. Just you can see, this is the index number of the first one, the second one, and the third. This is the index number of the third OBC tag. Okay, now get start again. If you like to separate the timeline for more period, sorry, for more portion, just get back to the side view and click on the chart control. And the chart area property, click on the button nearby collection. And click on access. You can see X axis and interval. For example, change to small interval for 5, then click OK. Now you have small interval over the total period.